welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing passive income and tech in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make sure that your emails avoid the spam filter you might not be aware but Google and Yahoo have just come out with these new spam filter policies and they might be affecting the way that your emails get sent to your subscribers and I also wanted to quickly mention that I'm running a competition at the moment where you can win a free copy of my complete build system that grows your email list, sells your digital products, grows your affiliate commissions all at the same time. And it also includes my high converting done for you digital product courses. So before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that any links to resources and the competition are in the comment section below of the video. So definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more for you guys. So there are a few things that you can do to avoid the email spam filter and you want to make sure that you get inside people's inboxes and in the right place. So when you're writing your emails, there are actually a list of about, I think it's 700 plus banned words that you cannot use in your emails and you cannot use them in your subject lines either. So that's things like profit, money, sales, and believe it or not, all and now are also in there as well. So the other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't have spammy subject lines. So say, for example, if I used a combination of all of these, which was like money, make sales now, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just does not like it. The other thing that you want to make sure that you have is you want to have a custom domain and an email, especially the email. So something like this, like joe at gmail.com is not going to work. So these are the main things that happen when you your email goes into the spam filter and you don't want to use any of these. So how do you actually write an email and how do you know? Because there's like 700 bad words and all that kind of stuff. Well, I've got a tool that will help you. So what I would do is I would grab your Google Doc or grab a Google Doc and write whatever it is that your email is that you're writing. If you need help, you can also go into ChatGPT and, you know, write your email there. Now, ChatGPT, just bear in mind, does not remove the banned words or anything like that. It just doesn't have any knowledge. You actually have to tell it to remove certain words. So if I copied this into here, and the tool that we are going to use is a spam checker. So I will put the link somewhere down below for you to go to, and it's really easy to use. So all you do is you copy your email in here, now you can see that already it is highlighting some spammy banned words and it will give you like a read time and also you know how many words you've got and what it's kind of thinking. So you can see here that my email subject money 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 is really spammy. So I would need to come up with a different subject line that relates to my email that is not spammy. So you can see when I remove the spammy words, so traffic is one and great is one, which seems weird, but okay. But you can see now that I've got like a really good score. So sometimes what I do as well is like, say for example, I've got like a section and it's only one word that's in there. I'll go into chat GPT and I'll be like, hey, can you rewrite this without the word traffic? And then it will hopefully write, rewrite this and it will have, okay, cool, it's okay, hasn't got this. And I'll come back to here and I'll replace that section. And then you can see that um, it hasn't got the spammy word in it anymore, which is really, really cool. So, and then I can maybe transfer that word to say cool. Now you can see that my overall score is great. It's 99. Um, words and only takes a few seconds. So I would go back to my Google Docs and I would just paste that back into there and obviously my subject line would not be money, money, money anymore. And then I'm ready to send that email. Now let's just say you're sending this email out as a newsletter or actually of any kind of email. So I'm just going to use the newsletter one as an example because this is like literally what happened to me. I sent an email and it had some spammy words in it and I didn't realize because the Google changes were just happening. Now what system.io will do is they will actually stop your email and they will vet it and they will, t they will send you an email that says, you know, you need to change this because it's not very good. So when that happens with your emails and it can happen in campaigns as well, you just need to go back to your Google Doc and make sure you use that spam checker and see if there are any spam words. So MailMeter actually has 
um, a list of all of the spam words as well that you can actually have a look at if you really wanted to. There's so many, so I probably wouldn't, but you know, if you feel inclined to, and just copy and paste your email back in there and just check what part is ma is making it, you know, hit that spam checker. Now, inside system.io, why it's really important to have that um, custom email and the custom domain is because Google and Yahoo, whatever the changes are, you can actually see it's come up with a message here that if you don't have something custom, it's going to hurt basically your emails and you're going to end up in spam probably, which we don't want to do. So all you need to do is make sure you go and you purchase a proper email address and like a proper domain name. You can do that from anywhere. And then you're just going to need to add it into system.io. I have a tutorial based on that. I will link it somewhere in this video so you can follow that if you've never done it before. But if you make sure that you add those things, it's going to avoid your emails ending up in the spam filter. The very last thing that you can do as well is you can make sure that you look after your email list. So you can see here that I've got some bounced emails, right? Not very many. But you want to always make sure that you come in every now and then to this um, email statistics page and just check your bounced statistics. So I've just come to emails and then statistics. So if I go down here, you can see I've got a few. Now, how do you actually clean this up? So you can go to contacts and then you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can go to contact state and then you need to go to bounced. So hopefully this is going to refresh, it has, and you can see that I've got some here. So I would probably go through and I would delete these contacts because I don't want to have them in my system anymore because their email address is not right. So I want to confirm and delete selected contacts. Yep. And I'm pretty sure that you can also uh, multi, yep, you can select all of them at once as well. So I'm going to delete those. So you're basically just tidying it up, making sure that you keep your bounce list like to like very, very minimum. You don't want it happening all the time. And hopefully they have been removed. So I'm just going to check by going back down to context state. Yep. And you can see that all my bounced is gone. So those are the things that you need to do with system.io to avoid the spam filter. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.